Welcome to Washington's Next video series. I'm your host, Doug Russell. Today's guest is Michael Breslin, director at LexisNexis Risk Solutions. Before joining LexisNexis Risk Solutions last year, Michael spent 23 years in federal law enforcement and held senior roles with Secret Service and the Department of Homeland Security. During his career, he managed transitional cyber and financial crime investigations and helped develop security solutions that helped protect the highest levels of government, including the president and vice president. Welcome to the program, Michael. Thank you, Doug. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, well, we are living in some unprecedented times here within uh, this pandemic here with COVID. So unfortunately, this is sort of a time where a lot of these threat actors seem to strike. What type of patterns uh, are you seeing from a fraud standpoint uh, hit uh, the marketplace and government agency since the pandemic hit? Um, what LexisNexis um, has seen across the board uh, is an increase in uh, attacks using uh, mobile access devices. Um, our cybercrime report uh, indicated uh, a 56% increase of the use of mobile device attacks. Um, that's really what that means is uh, there's more opportunity for fraudulent attempts, right? right. Um, people use the digital devices on a daily basis, right, to conduct business, their personal lives. Um, so the threat landscape has definitely changed and it's ripe with opportunity for uh, sophisticated and not so sophisticated actors to, to take advantage of, of the, uh, the, the, the COVID-19 pandemic and, uh, and, and the, the potential fraud opportunities uh, that exist. Can you offer an example maybe of something that, uh, some, of the, some of the things that Lexus and Nexus and um, some other industry partners have done to help kind of mitigate these things? I know you mentioned front end security. Uh, uh, sure, sure, absolutely. Um, so people are accustomed, right? They're used to, when you go online, especially now with the mandate of remote telework, uh, there's been an uptick in online retail shopping. So much yeah. like my home is Amazon's at my home several times a day, several times a week. So people are used to this kind of frictionless customer experience. They go online, they, they dial up their Amazon account, Walmart, Target, whatever it may be. And for the most part, it's usually one-stop shopping. Well, the government has that same challenge, right? People don't want to, like the days of old, have to type in their mother's maiden name, answer several questions as to the name of their first pet, What's their favorite vacation spot? Um, so the government uh, 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 through created uh, this platform called login.gov, okay? Uh, so an example is in the case of the General Services Administration, uh, GSA. Uh, we at Lexis are helping them move uh, to a cross-agency uh, sign-on uh, platform through this login.gov. Um, that login.gov, now it's not just LexisNexis, uh, it's us um, instrumental in the implementation of this uh, portal. Uh, along with a few other companies that are data providers as well. Um, but we are basically enabling uh, this, our front end uh, technology for identity uh, verification through this login.gov platform. And the beauty of that, it kind of helps meet the challenge that government has is to meet, like I said, provide better customer service and kind of create a little bit more of a frictionless uh, customer experience as they have with the retailers. Well, do you think uh, we'll see a continuance of this under COVID or, do you, uh, you know, remote workforce, you mentioned that that's kind of a piece that maybe just kind of this continuance of, you know, these types of new threats coming in. Yeah. So um, we definitely, definitely uh, do think that this um, um, identi identity theft is not new, right? It's been around. Uh, the trend that we're seeing, especially now during COVID, um, and would expect it uh, to, 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 to continue is that it's almost an adage of what's old is new again. Uh, we're seeing a lot of patterns and trends mm -hmm. that we had seen four to five years ago, that they were prevalent four to five years ago. Um, and you mentioned COVID. So in wake of this pandemic, uh, what we at the company, it's verified by what law enforcement, uh, investigative and intelligence alerts that they send out to the private sector, uh, the importance is always this public-private sector partnership, uh, but they too are uh, advising, which confirms with what we see at the company is a repurposing, so to speak, of tried and true uh, techniques and methods by these bad actors uh, to take advantage of, of the gaps in, in the system. Um, we see and, and suspect to continue to see, as I mentioned before, uh, the uptick in the increase of mobile devices. Uh, we 
our report had uh, indicated 56% of the previous year. We see an increase in COVID-19 related uh, phishing, uh, phishing attempts um, and identity theft kind of with a COVID-19, uh, the COVID-19 narrative.